<laughs> it's Philly is funny with Bennett and Boss. Chanel Renee, happy to have you here at the Philly is Funny podcast. Thank you. This is a pleasure. This building is super dope. Yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> this is like a diamond in the city. Like I've never even imagined. Uh, Rachel was telling me that it's the whale building, which had a whale on the side. Yeah. Growing up, I always thought it was the aquarium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weird, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although when people walk by, it kind of feels like we are like in an aquarium because people will like stare in the, the windows uh, yeah, and like yeah, press yeah. their face up against right, the glass. Right, it's yeah. like, what should I be doing? Should I be like putting on a show for you? Or, <laughs> but happy to have you here and uh, excited for you tonight, Punchline Philly. Oh, I'm always excited to hit Punchline stage. They show me so much love. Uh, the women who happen to be funny that are females. Oh, the show is amazing. It's always an amazing lineup. You get to see all different people at walks of life and just females coming to tell a different story. So it's amazing. It's a great show. Yeah, we did some stalking on you on uh, on social media okay. and online. Okay. Got to, yeah. got to know a you a little bit, bit before we get okay. to know you. You know what I mean? That pre-interview thing. Okay. So um, very impressive bio, man. Thank I mean, you. Female Comic of the Year 2018, right? Yeah. The Philly Hip Hop Awards. Very yeah. cool. And... Uh, and you are a clean comic. Have you always been a clean comic? I've always been a clean comic. That does not mean I'm not ignorant. So right. if you see me live, I don't, let's be clear. Let me get this straight. I'm yeah. very ignorant. I'm very rude. I just find synonyms to fill in those colorful words. I like that. Yeah. Love that's a that's that. a different kind of skill set, I feel like. It's a whole different thing you're flexing, I feel like. Uh, yeah. It, it was honestly, I made a promise to my grandmother like at that because I was in college when I found out I wanted to be a comedian. So family was not with that. Uh, I was like, uh, okay, you're there for a reason. This is not it. So I was like, all right, so maybe if I try to use this piece of paper to, you know, try to find some words and formulate them and be educated on stage. And they was like, ah, they still wasn't with it. <laughs> but it's been working out for me. So, I'm, I mean, I'm educated, so I, I like to find words to fill in. I like new words. I like new ideas. So why not? I appreciate that. Yeah, I enjoy myself. I feel like cursing and, you know, being blue or vulgar can. It's like, easy. It's easy. Yeah. It can be a crutch. It's easy. I remember when I first started, like, I use it as a crutch. <laughs> I did. I cursed every other word. And I'm like, I don't really do curse like that in real life. What am I doing? What kind of show am I putting on for people? It's right. Like, it ain't me. Um, so I really appreciate that. That's yeah. awesome. When did you start? Uh, I started doing kind of like, literally, I did my very first show while I was in college. Uh, it was in, like, 2006. And I took, like, five years off after that because this graduating student loans was telling me. Uh, finally found a way to dodge them. Uh, then I really, came, <laughs> I came back strong, honestly, in 2014 mm -hmm. and just been going ever since. Um, I had like some hiccups. Of course, life comes at you, but this is my second year doing comedy full time. That's awesome. Wow. Right. Good for you. Super dope. You're That's doing awesome. it. <laughs> I am. I love every second of it. What did you realize that you were funny? Like, did, were you a kid and like, you're like, you know what? I could do this. This is, I I'm making the kids around me laugh in school. I was a kid that the teachers would find extra work for me to keep me <laughs> quiet. Because after yep. I was done, it was over. Like, I was always a smart kid. So when the work was over, oh, I'm ready to go. Oh, I'm bothering people. <laughs> yeah. I'm kicking the chair while they're reading so they're messing up on the words. I was that kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was that kid. So my, I remember my sixth grade teacher told my mom, like, that's the next Whoopi Goldberg. Like, my mom was like, she's not funny at home. My mom did find none of this funny. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember your first joke? My first joke I ever wrote uh, was about being a stalker. Um, that's funny. That came out wrong. Um, <laughs> it was. I'm uh, listening. What you got? <laughs> I, was, I was actually dating some guy, but then I found out that he had a girlfriend. So, like, I just flipped it all around as, like, being in places he was because he wanted me to be there, but he never wanted me to be there. Uh, like, he would buy me, you know, soup because he wanted me to have it, and he would go for long walks, and I just flipped it like, well, he would go walking, but I was, like, right behind him. He didn't know I was there. <laughs> like, I would pick him up crackers from uh, Wawa because he would want me to have them. It was, it was, just, it was a great <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bring that back. Thank you. That's Might try great. That tonight. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. Might were there were there back. comedians that uh, you watched growing up that you wanted to emulate or that really uh, uh, that got you at a young age? Honestly, uh, the first comedian I seen in person on stage uh, is Philadelphia's own Touré Gordon. Okay. Um, I was in college. He came up there to do a show and was like, "Yo, I could do this." But then, like on stage, uh, like I mean, like c celebrity wise, I guess we could say like more mainstream was Ellen. Yeah. Yeah. Ellen doesn't curse. Ellen doesn't curse. Uh, Ellen's like silly. She's herself. So that was amazing to me. Mm -hmm. Like she's just naturally funny. So that was like, all right, I could do this. Like, yeah. this, this is me. So they were like the really little really, two people that really like jump started it. And it was another guy from Philadelphia named Chris Kennedy. Uh, he grew up around my, my uh, neighborhood and he was doing it. And he put me on my first show. And that was it. That's dope. Yeah. Ellen's latest. Um... 
Her Special standard. on Netflix is super funny. <laughs> oh, super, uh, she's yeah. so polished. relatable. Yeah, she's relatable. And like, how long like she went without doing stand up? I mean, obviously, just her like daytime show, right? Which right. she does like opening monologue and stuff like that. But like her full, you know, first actual special in a year is and it's super polished. Like, yeah, she's just she's, she's one herse- of one. Yeah, I mean, she's Ellen's just herself. Totally. She's enjoying life, and you can see it. Yeah, most definitely. That's that's a good comic to emulate. That's 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 <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty solid. Uh, Laura here, my my very special co-host. She digs up these like stories, whether it's national or you know some local Philadelphia stories. And I have no idea what she's about to say right now. Okay, and she's I like gonna bring that. up some topics, and then we're kind of just kind of right. do like I'm a little not gonna look at her because it makes me it makes it a little better if I don't even see what's happening. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure right. what, what's gonna come out yeah, of her mouth. So it's like a getting to know you game. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you may have seen in the news that Eagle Center Jason Kelsey was arm wrestling a random guy at a bar in Delco while wearing a Delco shirt, which is... Very on brand. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) The most Delco story ever. (laughs) So I want to know what's the most Philly thing you've ever seen or heard. Oh. The Mm. most Philly thing I've ever seen or heard. Mm. That's good. You have a lot of options. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I live, I live with her. Yeah, <laughs> you're just going through the mental Rolodex wow, right now. You're like, oh, right, right, which right. Which store to choose? Um, I've seen someone in New Orleans, uh, with a cheesesteak from Maxis. <laughs> yeah, uh, pull it out <laughs> down yeah. there. Yeah, I had to think. Um, they have a festival down there, a comic festival, and I, I've been a part of it the last couple of years. And the lady, she was on Bourbon Street. It had to be about three in the morning, and she put out cheesesteak. She's like, I'm from South Philly. And I was like, why are you screaming? She's like, I was like, well, where did you have that? Because you, too many questions. That's cool. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Too many yeah, questions. Yeah. That was the most, probably the most Philly thing I've ever seen. That's incredible. Representing yeah. in New Orleans. That's in New great. Orleans. That's pretty awesome. So I'm somewhat new to Philly. I've been here for seven years. And I think the most Philly thing I've seen is when the Eagles won. I mean, I went to Center <laughs> City and I got to see it. Like, you know, did you go out when the Eagles won? Uh, I actually did not go out. Uh, that was, my son was about four months old at that point. My, my my husband still believes that my son was the good luck charm for that. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but we did not go out. But I knew my safety was better off in the house. Yeah, yeah. No, you're much smarter than I am. Yeah, I, yeah, I went yeah. out there. No. It was intense. I was out there on South Street. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you were in the heart of I life. I was like, oh, everyone was on their best behavior. There was no, that I'm was like, their best behavior. behavior. I'm like, yeah, that was right. well behaved. I was like, and shoot. honestly, that was well behaved. Yeah. I was actually pretty proud that we still had a city when I woke up in the morning. <laughs> I was. Yeah. I was pretty proud of us. Yeah. Like, good job, guys. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. was intense. All right. What else are you reading about over there, Laura? All right. So uh, this is exciting, guys. Boys to Men recently released a line of wine called Harmony. Hmm. <laughs> I get it. I get yeah, it. That's what they do. It. They do harmonies. Okay. I'm, I'm with okay. it. Great, great. That All made right. us think, didn't so, it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it's really funny. So I was watching this video on them, and it's like someone definitely was like, hey, guys, you should release this wine. Let's call it Harmony. And they're like, yeah, sure, that'll give us money. Cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, for real. Because they're talking about it, and they have <laughs> no idea what they're saying. They're like, Although I we... love Boys to Men. They can do Yo, no wrong. Oh, they I love them since no I was a little no like, I'm going to I have Boys to Men teddy bears. bears. When you when you squeeze them, they sing I'll Make Love Where to You. Where did you get no. that from? I got it from QVC when oh, I was a kid. My mom right. bought it for me. You have a great mind. And they still sing to this day because I, re- I changed their batteries still. Well, at least, really at least you're responsible. It. I know. Yeah. I got one <laughs> thing right. What? No, I love Boys to Men. I met Wanye when I was a kid. Love Wanye. Yeah, if Wanya's we're going to go Boys and Men, we're going to have to go Wanye first. Yeah, right? we, I love Wanye. Wanye, then like Sean Stock, Stockman? Stock, Stock yeah, something? Sean's from West Philly. We got to yeah. gotta go Sean, and I'll kind of lose it after that. I don't, I don't <laughs> know who else is in the group. Well, there's the, the guy with the cane that's no longer. Mike's in, hurt. He's yeah. still hurt. Yeah, he's still hurt. He was the dude. He was the, the dude. deep voice guy. Uh, okay, so what's your question? <laughs> so Sorry, I got on a voice men tangent. I can you. do that. We, yeah, uh, we got lost, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a tangent there. All right, uh, what product would you want to sell? Ooh. You can sell anything. Put if your name on it. I could sell anything. I'm a sneakerhead. Okay. So I will probably come up with a, like, a Chanel Renee sneaker um, just because that's what I do. I'm that girl who... <laughs> After I leave, I have to wear shoes. Oh, there's a pair of sneakers waiting on me immediately. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm com- I'm super. Com- oh, these, this is the next line right here. These Uggs are super comfortable. Um, but yeah, I, I would sell shoes. I would sell sneakers. I would definitely. What's your sell style sneakers. though? What's what's like uh, the Chanel I'm a, I'm brand? I'm a Jordan fanatic. Okay. Uh, I'm not really into Converse's. In the summertime, you catch me in a bunch of Chucks. Yeah. Uh, Bo Jackson's. That's another favorite of mine. Um, Reebok Classics. Oh, I. We can do this all day. Yeah, we, we can do this all day. I, I love it. I'm actually that's my my get up for the night. It's gonna be a nice pair of sneakers uh, for for the show tonight. So we're we're gonna go hard tonight. Yeah, we're gonna bust go out hard the goodies. Tonight. Tonight. Yeah, we're gonna go hard tonight. 
Uh, what's what's your what's your product, Laura? What are you slinging? Oh God, I don't know. I would probably do something with like dogs. I don't <laughs> selling know. with dogs? What are you, are you selling, are you selling dogs? dogs? No, I would not sell <laughs> are you, are you, dogs. Are you, so you're running a puppy I, mill? Is that okay, what you're saying, no, Laura? No, no, no. Wow. <laughs> Mine would. So I guess it's not quite a product. This yeah. is actually something I put a lot of thought into. So don't steal it. But I want to do like a doggy <laughs> like day camp where we like I like get them all in a van. People pay me money to take their dogs in a van and go to Wissahickon <laughs> Park and just like play with their dogs. <laughs> you know, the crazy part is, got it all figured I out. I always thought yeah. about that. Like, sending my dog to school every day. So that's yeah. that's cool. Like, like be, I want him to leave. Like I'm the only check. one. Do you house, trust Laura with out. your dog yeah. and her and her van? I trust anybody with my dog. I just want him out. The van <laughs> thing is kind of creepy wow. when you say. Yeah, like you said the bar very like, low. Yeah, yeah the, I just want him out. The van is kind of yeah. creepy yeah, now that like, you say. That's it, what but. she said. She wants to shove <laughs> dogs in her van and go to Wissahickon. Like five, six dogs in there. Like imagine you do you mutt cuts. You know, are you gonna like have car seats? Like, Mutt cuts. Are we gonna have yeah. car seats for the dogs, or are we just gonna store them yes. in and just let them just like God just deal with it? Like safety first. <laughs> All right, cool. First. All right, okay. Yeah. I watch Shark Tank a lot, so I've been thinking about Shark <laughs> Tank. And so, like, my fiance and I, uh, we're we're uh, actually starting to make Brussels sprout chips. Ooh. How you feel about you? Like, you mess with you, the face you're giving me nope. makes me think that you don't eat Brussels. I sprouts. hate Brussels sprouts. What? Oh man. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, no, listen. I've never had one. I just won't do it. I no. I, listen. I'll eat every other green vegetable. Really? I just won't. Oh, do it. My man. sister, like, she's so excited about. It. She saute them and she'll do all types. I'm not eating it. I gotta find a product that I can market to you. I don't know. I'd, Brussels sprouts Brussels chips. Sprouts. That doesn't even sound fun. Like, no, it is fun. We, uh, we have different. I mean, we have different flavors. We see the packaging. Uh, like, we have designs. That? You're gonna love it. You're gonna eat it. Who eats vegetables for fun? I get a chip. <laughs> That's no. That you can't sell that kale to a kid. Chip? You ever had a kale chip? Yeah. I eat kale, and I will eat kale, but it has to oh, be. Oh, you can make green. your own kale chips at home. You put a little no, sea no, salt no. on that, put no. it in the oven for a bit. Have you ever seen how uh, black people do uh, <laughs> vegetables? It's not healthy at all. It's not. It's <laughs> over. It's over. Put kale with greens, and it's meat in there. It's really not kale anymore. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Brussels sprout chips. Yeah, man. I, I'm behind you though. Yeah. I'll do a jingle for you. We can yeah? Probably, yeah, but yeah, that'd be it. But oh, Brussels sprouts. Be it. <laughs> Brussels I ain't gonna eat it, but yeah, I'm not gonna eat it. That's the end of the song too. I'm still not gonna eat it. <laughs> do, you, do you do jingles? Is this like a thing? Uh, I, I like to sing. Um, I uh, grew up in church, so like a lot of my uh, no, that's another reason it's clean. But a lot of my commentary comes from singing. Um, I just randomly sing. Like I'm really annoying now. My son does it, and it's really <laughs> annoying. Uh, I can literally just anything. Oh. Just singing, just happy to be me. I'm just happy, like I don't know, all the time. Doesn't matter what's going on. So, so I gotta know what's yeah. your go-to karaoke song. Ooh, thong song. That didn't take <laughs> yes. it. What? Yes, yes. moves Let's and all. Go. Oh, moves and all. Rachel, we might do that tonight. Ooh. Moves and all. I mean, we are filming right now. Uh, <laughs> turn it on. We, this will get out of control. What? Wait, hold Let on. I actually have it here. I get down. Big yeah. haunt. Because I played it right. on the on my radio show the what? other day. This is I did. I like I I played the thong song on oh. Top 40 Radio in 2020. That's that how that's how I do things over here on 96.5. Literally. Hold on. That was like one of my first CDs, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Chanel Renee. <laughs> Please welcome to the I, stage. I gotta see this. This is the first time ever. Come on. Come on, Rachel, do you also do another dance with us? No. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Ooh, that dress was scandalous. And I know that I can't handle this. Why you shaking that thing? Like, who's the ish when you look in your eyes? So scandalous. She let like, cruise to the hip hop spots. And she cruised to the cruise. Just hit the stuff. That just urban. She likes the pop. Because she's living La Vida Loca. She had dumps like a truck. Truck, truck. That was like, what, what? What, baby, move your butt, butt, butt. I think I sing it again. She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Thighs like what, what, what? All night long. Let me see that thong. <laughs> baby. <laughs> what? That thong, that thong, that thong. I love it when you be gone. I love it when you booty go. That thong, that thong, that thong. Oh that my is god. The the what? the look yeah. in her eyes too. I'm not sure how much you zoomed in on that. But the, I can see the passion just that radiate my, off you. That, I danced that at my wedding. Did you really? <laughs> I had What's no that? idea we wow. had a Cisco fanatic in here. Like that's What? It's very impressive. Don't you feel and, and she knew every to lyric now? in 2020. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just had a ball, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can you please perform that tonight? That'd be great. Listen. I'm planning to have a ball tonight at Philly. Uh, Philly. Con oh, we about to do it tonight. I'm just gonna keep this on in the background just so you feel comfortable. <laughs> I, and that's what's throwing me off now. You gotta turn yeah, off because like, my adrenaline's going. Yeah, I'm I'm I still got more in me. 
<laughs> oh my god! All right, so let's talk about tonight. Um, who's <laughs> that was pretty amazing. It's gonna be hard to top that. It's it's, it's an amazing show. Uh, honestly, I really love it because uh, females just in just in the industry we don't get enough respect. It's like, all right, you know, you're funny, but you're a girl. Mm. Hate that. Like I'm funnier than a lot of you males out here, but I digress. <laughs> yeah. But I just, feel you though. I, I I totally get it. Right, but just to have like just to have punchline, have that you know to spotlight us is just amazing, and they do it every month. So yeah. it's, it's like super cool, and you get national headliners, you get people who've been all around, and bring them all into this one center, and we're learning from each other because the green room conversations are the best. That's what it is. Right, right. It's the foolishness that happens back there, and you get the you'll get the little <laughs> tips and. You know, you get the little information. You know, there's an audition here for this or that, you know, because we don't mind sharing and loving on each other. So it's, it's just super dope. So tonight, 8 o'clock? Tonight at 8 o'clock, please be at Punchline Philadelphia. For yes. Me. Punchlinephilly.com and grab tickets or just Punch. show on up. Yeah, please show up. Roll up. Uh, my guest list is already sent in, but I know people are going to hit me up because that's how my family does. Bring a pair of jeans? Oh. You get in for free with a pair of jeans? Uh, for charity? Okay. I thought, I don't know if you were like collecting. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 not those jeans that you were thinking about throwing away. You bring a fresh pair of jeans. Fresh pair of jeans, you get in for free. Oh, that's dope. Oh, oh Navy's having a sale. So, <laughs> yeah, there you go. What's there your you excuse, go. people? Yeah, you, then you're winning twice. What's like, going go on? Get yourself a pair and someone else. So you can have a jean twin. <laughs> like, what? Man, so good to have you in here. Thank you for, uh, Thanks for, for coming out. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we'll see you tonight, 8 o'clock. Yes, guys. Hold on, I'm going gonna, gonna to do your, uh, your outro here. Yes. Encore. Yeah. Chanel Renee. Woo! Punchline Philly tonight, 8 o'clock. <laughs> Bring a pair of jeans. Or That's your it. thong. Both. Or your thong. Definitely a thong. <laughs> we don't want to see the thong, though. Please, please don't. Wait, should I cue it up to where you were before? Yeah. Bitch, I'll spend my jacket on. I love the week. I love the week. Where I'm at? Baby. There's no, there's no, no, I made that up. Oh, I made it up. I just made it up. I just made it up. Oh, my oh. 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 get real. Got to get real. This is the part. <laughs> Lord, you're missing out. Oh, no. Lord, get in here. Get some stuff in this. Hey, no. Oh. Oh. What do you know about this, Jessica? I feel like I know. Philly is funny with Bennett and Boss exclusively on radio.com.